Son of man, Jesus Christ said, thou shalt not kill. That's what the Bible says. You guys are here supporting bloodshed is what you're here to do. Not, no, you are. You're here to support bloodshed. We're here to support our rights and our decisions. You don't have any rights. You never did have any right to kill a baby. Name the right. What law gave you the right? Roe v. Wade. No, nope, no. Nope. That's a Supreme worry. Court decision, not a law. Name the law that gave you the right to kill babies. Name one. Come on, guys. Cabbage, anything? One law. One law? Not one law. So you can't you can't quote what me one people? law. We have the right to our bodies. The no, 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 right but where health. is that right secured? We have Where's the right? The right? To our bodies and the right to our health. Where's the right? Where is it? Where is it I'm written down? I'm not going to argue semantics with you, Gabe. Oh, it's not semantics. If day. it's your right, this is a very important thing that should be founded in, a, in a, uh, some sort of law. So what do you guys have to say that it was your right that now taken away? Okay, give me a give me a law that uh, that says this is a Christian nation. <laughs> well, that doesn't make sense. But you're oh, bringing your religion into it. We no, wouldn't make a law. A law prevents evil doing. You're so stupid. A law prevents evil doing. A law is something established to prevent you're you from so doing stupid. something. That's the words of Jesus Christ. Right? Being a Christian so nation is, yeah, is an foolish. abstract thing. Yeah. That doesn't, doesn't yeah. make any sense. Because you don't obey God, you're foolish. That doesn't literally your question makes no sense whatsoever. You called somebody brutish. That means they're stupid, like you. The Fourteenth Amendment to the Constitution guarantees children. That's out of your own mouth. You are pretty stupid. The Fourteenth Amendment to our Constitution is the law of the land, <laughs> and it provides that all children have the right to live. Now, what's your law? What's your law? You say that your rights have just been stripped from you, but it's where do so they nice come from in the first nice place? It's so nice to meet you too. <laughs> it's time to turn to Jesus Christ today. Sin has made you stupid in the mind, and that's your problem. Sure. Sure. has made you stupid in the mind. Yeah, we're just big old dumb. That's why. That's why you look the way that you do, because you're trying to reject yeah, femininity. We care about Instead, women. you're just trying to look as ugly as possible because sin makes you rights. ugly on the inside and the outside. You reject femininity because you find it insulting. No, I reject it because I'm a man. <laughs> Masculinity is for men. Femininity is for women. Sure, sure. I'm surprised sure. we're having to talk about this today, Wolverine. Yeah, right? Actually, not. Huh? Exactly. It is. Right. You just, you just pretend it's not. Really the Bible original. says that God no, no, created man the Bible. and no, 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 female. The, Bible. the Bible's the original source of all of our laws. Okay. So, is it? Uh, it is. Where, did you, where do you think you learned not to kill? I actually never had a natural drive to kill. Do you need a Bible to tell you not to kill? Have you had an abortion? Yeah, you have done it yet. But you support it, though, which means it's the same thing. That's right. You need a Bible to tell you not to kill. No, I don't. Even unbelievers don't want to kill me. Why is that? You just literally said that. I quoted the Bible, but I don't need the Bible to prove that it's wrong to kill. Why do you need it? Why do, why, why do one believers not kill? Why do one believers not kill? Why are you, why are you not murdering people today? What's keeping you from doing that? What's keeping you from doing that? Where does that come from? The fucking Bible. Alright, where? Your humanity and your humanity base. Who created you? Who created you? Who created you? No, it's not. I'm still on a straight path. You can't have Who a created you? Up Where did you get your humanity? I, I, I don't, I'm not even bringing up the Bible. I just asked you to create me. From your perspective. Biology is, biology is a study of life. A study cannot create somebody. A study can study something. I asked you to create it. Wow. You guys are so stupid. Wow. Yeah, we're Unreal. Really dumb. We're so dumb. Biology is a class you take in high school. Actually, it's a degree that I have life. here. Yeah. Wow. It's a study of life, guys. Freedom. But who created you? You guys don't even know who created There's you? There's not a who. Okay, what created you? I am the process of a millennia of natural selection. How old are you? How old are you? None of you guys. I'm guessing 20s. You but you're not a process of millennia. You're in your 20s. You guys are having a hard time with this. Aren't you? <laughs> you guys are having a hard time. No, Anything to make you feel better again. Know. Anything to make you feel like a big strong man. Those are the things I'm in my twenties. You guys are so hopelessly lost in your sin you can't even grasp oh, I'm basic not lost, science. Baby, I left the church a very long time ago. I'm not your baby. I married, a, I married a woman that looks like oh, a woman. Yep. You know what I mean? Right. Turn to Jesus you, Christ so today. That's what you need. You need Jesus Christ to come in. Huh? Are you You're on the path to go in the opposite back. direction. Most of you look like bulls, but no strength. You're looking more like livestock every day you go by. I mean, you're treating us like it, so. I'm 
I'm a big old No, I'm treating you like a human being. That's why I'm telling you. I don't preach to cows. I don't preach to cows. You may be trying to look like one, but I'm not here to preach to cows. You don't preach to cows, huh? Turn to Jesus Christ. Cows aren't going to heaven and hell, guys. You are, though. All dogs go to heaven. You are. It's going to be a hard Turn to Jesus Christ today. Repent. You guys are in need of Jesus Christ. Sin has made you stupid in the mind. Sin has made you stupid in the mind. Sin has made you reject what is natural. Sin has made you reject God's holy plan for your life. He's made you reject Jesus on the cross, that he died for you, that you could be free from your nonsense, free from your sin, free from your perversion. It is a free country. No, you can't do everything you want. I didn't say I could do everything. You said you can do what you want. That's not true. You okay, can't do what you want. But I can country. choose to do whatever you think you is can. a sin. You can. You can also choose to bear the consequences of it, which okay, is all fine. Okay, what do I do? Right? I tell you, I'm accepting that. Now go away. No, I'll still be here out of love for you to the truth. But I don't want your love. No? <laughs> Just like you don't want Jesus' love, but yet it's still there. It doesn't matter whether you want it or not. I'm pretty sure Jesus said not to stay on the street. You're definitely giving me all the Chapter and verse. Did I pray? Chapter and verse. When would I pray? Chapter and verse, Center. Are we supposed to read by example? I need to go get my Bible out of the car, man. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's because it's not there. Why do you own a Bible? He commands us to go preach the, preach the gospel. Go out to the highways and hedges. Tell my people to come in and my house may be filled. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. Wisdom crieth without. There's your preaching verse. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttereth her words. So you don't know the Bible. You need to okay, repent. Sure. Sure. Well, you just told us we're not supposed to be doing this, but the Bible tells us to do this. You need to go back and read your Bible and get right with God because you're on your way to hell fire. You chose that which is unnatural. I don't know. Jesus hung out with him. chose to go against nature. Did it say he hung out with him? Chapter and verse. Well, you're talking nonsense. So why would you? Right. Oh yeah, they don't know everything. For someone who doesn't think the Bible is true, why right, would you use the Bible to authenticate your argument? You Proverbs one twenty. Huh? Go read it. Right, and I'm using scripture. No, you, Proverbs. You I just quoted it. I just quoted it. You weren't listening. You weren't. You weren't listening. Because you don't listen. That's your problem. The foolishness of your mind says I need to use the Bible to prove a point, but I don't even think the Bible is true. We'll be saying that in hellfire. Okay. Where in the Bible this book, say that? Jesus said you're going to be judged by every single word in this book. Every single word in this book. You don't have an answer. You don't have an answer to those questions. Yet you try to use the Bible to prove your argument. You don't even think the Bible is true. That's why you're ignoring me. That's why you're ignoring me by trying to talk to your friends. Because you know that you have no argument for what you believe. You're just running your mouth. You're running off in the mouth. And that's all that you do. Just like most women in this country, you run off at the mouth and don't know your place. And that's right. a shameful that's thing. That's right. You're supposed to be at home raising children. Okay, me and my husband don't want kids. Well, the shame on Thank you. you. Yeah. The Bible says to be uh, fruitful and multiply. Okay, I don't want to. Because I don't want to. Because you hate God. Because I don't have a home. Because you hate God and His plan. I already that's have point. raised kids. I that's didn't the work point. them, that's but the I That's the point of marriage and sex is to have children. To be like fruitful to and multiply. Oh, I'm sorry, you don't have sex for fun. Ever. <laughs> I do, but it bears children. <laughs> I, I bear fruit in mine. What if somebody's infertile? Are they not allowed to have sex? Are you infertile? I don't need nobody to I haven't had babies yet. Well, you said you just don't want to have I don't no, want to, but yeah, you do that. And I'm asking you a question. Is, don't let that be right? My friend and is I'm all right. Your point is infertile. We're not talking about your friend. We're talking about you. I'm talking about my friend. I don't blame people for being infertile. That's not their fault. I didn't ask if you blamed her. I said, can she have... You have a hatred for children. Oh, if yeah, my we friend hate kids. is infertile and doesn't have kids yeah. and is married, likes to have sex just to enjoy it. Did I say it. that was wrong? You said that you can have sex because it's fruitful and it's okay that you because do it to can. enjoy. Because we can yeah. But it's not your fault if you're infertile. I never said it was. But God gave good, us sex for the purpose of reproduction. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. This, this, this is what you people want to reject. You think it's all just for fun and not for the purpose of reproduction. Yet, if, if people I mean, didn't believe in that, the there would not be a planet today. There would not be a human race today. He gave you free will, but what else is he going to give you? God commanded. That's what you're going to 
all men everywhere to repent because he hath appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained and he hath given him an assurance unto all men that it is he that hath raised him from the dead Know ye not? Why is your husband so aggressively fat and perverted? That the unrighteous it's because he's married to you. I have shall no not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators. Idolaters, nor adulterers, neither the effeminate, neither abusers of themselves with mankind nor thieves nor drunkards nor revilers nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible said, but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable And the whoremongers and the murderers and the sorcerers and idolaters shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone is the second death Jesus said, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are... You're just proving my the point that you are listening. You're just proving the point you are listening. Thank you. Thank you. They that are whole have no need of the physician but they that are sick Jesus said I came not to call the righteous but sinners to repentance man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of God you need to live by every 
Word of God. And the Bible says, Behold, the, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly oh, committed and all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against them these are murmurers and complainers walking after their own lusts and whose mouths speak great swelling words having men's persons in admiration because of advantage this city is in trouble with Almighty God. This city supports the murder of innocent children. Blood is on your hands. Jackson, Mississippi. Is it two syllables? Can you make it three? Wait, make it three syllables. Is on your hands. I was like, how many syllables is actually in the word blood? Repent. That's going to be can get three. Turn to God. God now has two syllables to it. Do works meet for repentance. Turn to Jesus Christ. Forsake your sin. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper and what do you do Fondren you try to cover up your sin you try to hide your sin nope, nobody's trying to hide anything but God sees it no we're doing abortion right here on the corner God sees the sin Fondren there is no darkness, that is funny. nor shadow of death, where the workers of iniquity can hide themselves. You can't hide your sin. From Almighty God. Did you say Almighty Teacup? You can't hide your sin from the Holy One. You can't hide your sin 
from Jesus Christ. He sees it all. And you will give an account. You're going to give an account to Almighty God. You will not evade the judgment of God. You will not escape God's judgment in your sin. You must repent. You must lay it down at the cross and be saved. Be reconciled to God. Be reconciled to God. Turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to Jesus Christ. Repent of your sin. Repent. And believe the gospel. For the time is fulfilled. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. Woe be unto you, Fondren! Woe be unto you, Fondren! City of murder! City of murder! City of bloodshed! God is grieved at your sin! You need to seek the face of God! Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. <coughs> and call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked Let the wicked forsake their way You need to forsake your wicked way And the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return. Let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy. He will have Mercy upon him. And 
to our God, for He will abundantly pardon Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You need Jesus! You need to get on your face before God and repent! 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 Turn from your sin! Turn to Jesus! Rest with us! When the Lord cometh in flaming fire When the Lord cometh with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance upon them that know not God and obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of this power the Lord which Lord will come Lord Krishna in flaming fire taking vengeance upon them that know not God And obey not the gospel. Here, you take this. Well, I can't film it from here, bro. Because if you have a fun. If you don't want to film it, film it. Well, no, he gets paid for it. They get, they get paid. Not really. I'm not going to be bullet. Yeah, you're going to have to film it. Yeah, I'm going to film it. Jesus Christ. For the love. Of Christ constraineth us, for we thus judge that if one died for all, if one died for all, then all were dead. And that he died for all. That they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him, unto Christ. Who died for you? I didn't ask him to do that. And he rose again. <laughs> God commended his love toward us. That in while we were yet sinners, 
Christ died for us. Christ died for the ungodly. Christ died for the rebellious. Christ died on the cross that you might be saved. That you might be set free. That you might be born again. That you could be saved from your sin. Jesus. If you didn't know, the birds work for the bourgeoisie. Jesus. Jesus! 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 Died for your sin! That if you humble yourself, if you humble yourself, if you resist the devil and call, call upon the name of the Lord, thou shalt be saved. You can be saved. But you must repent. You gotta repent. Like, just go home. Give up your sin before you end up in hell. I'm having fun sinning. Before you end up in hell. No, I think it's gonna be a party. They'll be weeping. They'll be wailing. Up. They'll be what? And gnashing. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> gnashing of teeth. Gnashing of teeth. Hell. Hell. This is hell. Hath enlarged herself. She hath opened her mouth without measure and all their glory and all their multitude and all their pomp And he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. You'll descend into hell if you don't turn to Jesus Christ. He says, Come unto me. Come unto me, Jesus said. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly at heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul for my yoke is easy and my burden is light the yoke of christ is easy his burden is light turn to him man turn to him turn from your sins there's mercy at the cross there's forgiveness at the cross. 
but you've got to humble yourself. You've got to surrender your pride. You've got to surrender your pride at the cross. You've got to surrender your pride at the feet of Jesus. Pride going before destruction. And a haughty spirit before the fall. Pride going before destruction. And a haughty spirit before the fall. You're going to fall in your sin down to the pit. Down to the pit. Thou shalt be brought down to hell. Here, we're in hell right now. This is it. So like to the sides of the pit. In hell, there'll be no hope for you. In hell, there'll be no refreshing for you. In hell, there'll be no opportunity. There'll be no second chances. There'll be no second chances. There won't be another chance there. There won't be another opportunity there. Oh, repent. Repent. Turn from your sin. Give up your sin. Go and sin no more. Awake unto righteousness. And sin not! Awake unto righteousness and sin not! Like, are you gonna have a stroke or something? For some have not the knowledge of God. You know that they're not listening to you. And I speak this to their shame. I speak this to their shame. This shitty? But God. God. God can save you. He can set you free. Stop rebelling against God. Stop rejecting the mercy of God. Stop hardening your heart to God. Jesus said, He that heareth, He that heareth my words and believeth on him that sent me. Have everlasting life. Bro, I don't want to live forever. And shall not come into condemnation. But is passed from death on to life. You can pass from death unto life if you'll surrender to Jesus. If you'll surrender to Jesus, but you're dead inside. You're dead inside. You're not alive. You're void of peace. You're void of peace. You're like a troubled sea, the Bible says, that has no rest. You don't have any rest in your life. I real good last night. Is this what you call peace? Jesus! Jesus! You don't seem to be resting either, my dear. Jesus is Lord! Jesus is Lord! Jesus is Lord. 
For the hour. For the hour? The hour is coming. The hour. The hour is coming. In the which all that are in the grave shall hear his voice and they shall come forth those that have done good to the resurrection of life and those that have done evil to the resurrection of damnation where will you be on that day Where will you be on that day? Heaven or hell? Life or death? Choose the Lord Jesus Christ. Give up your sin. Give up your life. What is your life but a vapor? Your life is a vapor that appeareth for a little while and then it vanishes away. Your life might vanish away on you today. You could die. You could die. You could perish in your sin. You could perish in your sin. Turn to the cross. Repent. sinful kingdom of America the sinful kingdom of America though you exalt yourself as the eagle and set your nest among the stars God says then I will bring thee down to the ground you set your nest in the stars but God says, because of your pride, He will bring you down uh, to the ground. The Lord says, Behold, uh, I am against thee, O thou most proud uh, He's against this wicked nation. The face. And you. The face. We all like this. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. To cut off their remembrance from the earth the face of the Lord is against them that do evil
to cut off their remembrance their remembrance from the earth the destruction the destruction of the transgressors and sinners shall be together and they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed ye serpents ye generation of vipers ye serpents ye generation of vipers how how shall ye escape the damnation of the hell how shall you escape the damnation of hell? Turn to Jesus Christ. Repent of your sin. Lay down. Lay down your sin. Lay down your weapons of warfare against God the wicked if the wicked turn not God says he will wet his sword he will bend back his bow and make it ready he hath prepared for them the instruments of death And he hath ordained his arrows against the persecutors. Turn to Jesus, lest his fury come forth like fire. Lest his fury come forth like fire and burn that none shall quench it. Behold! Behold! Yes. Behold! The day of the Lord cometh cruel! Cruel! both with wrath and fierce anger. And he shall lay the land desolate and destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And the stars of heaven shall not give their light, neither the constellations. The sun shall be darkened at his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And then, and then he says, I, God says, will punish the world. He says, I will punish the world and the wicked for their iniquity. He says he will punish the world and the wicked for their iniquity. He will lay low 
the haughtiness of the terrible and he will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. He will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. On that great day of his wrath, And I saw heaven open and a white horse I he heaven too, open. and he funny. that sat upon him is called faithful and true and in righteousness doth he judge and make war and his eyes were as a flame of fire All things are possible through Jesus Christ, including abortion. and upon his head were many crowns oh, savvy, my dear, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself and he had a vesture cloak that was oh, dipped in blood and his name uh, is called uh, the Word of uh, God. His name is called the Word of uh, God. And the armies that were in heaven followed him upon white horses fine and clean and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword and with it he shall smite the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron hey girl. and he will tread he will tread the wine press of the fierceness and wrath of almighty God he will tread the wine press of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. You need to fear God today. Fear God and keep His commandments. Let this be the conclusion of the matter. Fear God. Fear God. Fear God. Fear God. And keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man. For God will bring into judgment. God will bring into judgment every work including every secret thing whether it be good or whether it be evil 
Oh, repent! Oh, Thank you. Repent! Thank you. Y'all have a great day today. God's wrath is coming! God's judgment is coming! I know. You know, Jesus was Don't there. be I cut mean, off! Don't be cut off! In your iniquity! Don't be cut off! In your sin! Turn to Jesus! Humble yourself! Call upon the name of the Lord and be ye saved.